make it no more, so I left the Matrix. And my money just tripled. I had a good time and it cost me a little. So I found peace, tranquility, faith of my abilities. I couldn't make no more, so I left the Matrix. That's in October is a good time. I feel that in October is where, where it's like sort of like the end of the um, down season and the uh, peak season. Like goes so peak season, I would say starts around sometime in November, where prices tend to go up. December, because you know traveling people in in the colder parts of the world will be traveling here more. Yeah, working on full time, man. Yeah, man. Look, man. I tell you this, brother. If you can do it, do it because, especially like me, I'm a vet. Uh, so I use the money I have from you know from the military, in addition to me working, and man, that money goes long here. It goes long, man. And the 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 stuff I can do here. I could never do in the states because the cost of living is so much more expensive in the states. So yeah, brother, if you can if you can make your way over here, man, do it. I highly recommend it. Cause I've talked to I talked to a couple of people here, man, and they you'll find and within the expat community, there's some folks that hit, that come here and they live like regular Dominicans, man. They live on like a tight budget where they spending like they spend under a thousand dollars a month. And they are just saving money and not doing a whole lot. But you have another side where you have folks that come here and they live like 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 like, like royalty where they they spend it because they got it, but they live at such a higher level than they ever could live in the United States. Yeah, Puerto Plata, man, it's a smaller city, but it's a it's a city, and it still has a lot to offer. Um it has a lot to offer. Uh, I would definitely look at if if I if I don't live one day in, in in Puerto Plata, I would definitely have some sort of like like business or property there or something. But uh, I definitely um, can see myself in Puerto Plata. But I would probably prefer um, you know some. Uh, 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 Somewhere else. I'm still, I'm still on the, uh, I'm still on the fence with that. But for right now, Santo Domingo is home. It's gonna be home. It's gonna be where I be. I, I have my roots here in the in, in the country for a while before I uh, branch out and go someplace else. Yeah, but um, a lot of people, man, they sleep on Santo Domingo, and I think it's because. You have, uh, I think it's because you have um, Porto Plata. It's like so much, so much attention is on Porto Plata and Sosua and Cabarete. And then a lot, a lot more attention is on Bavaro and Punta Cana. But people sleep on Santo Domingo, man. It's a lot, it's a lot to do here, man. It's a lot going on here. The thing is, man, it's a damn traffic, man. The traffic is, is, is crazy. And a lot of people don't want to deal with that traffic here. And it's annoying, man. I mean, you you've been you've been in the DC area or you've been in the Philly area, man, where the traffic is just insane. It's like that here too. But it's worse because people don't respect the rules and and they all and, and people don't know how to drive and they don't have a lot of uh, a lot of big large roads. A lot of the roads are just small. If it's not two lane, it's four lane. So a lot of roads just small, and you know traffic is just doesn't doesn't move as much. I want to meet Flip Flop. Yeah, man, I want to. I, I met Flip Flop uh, uh, a while back. I met him um, two years ago. I met him the same time I met um I met Flip Flip Flop. I met uh what's that, a little uh, big head dude um Bo Rakes. I met Bo Rakes. I met uh. <laughs> I met uh, what's the name? Uh, what's that uh, dude look like? Ashley Larry, Mayor So Sewer. I met him too, man. He look, man, he a clown, but he really, he's real cool in person, man. He's real cool in person, like really, he's really cool in person, man. But on on YouTube, man, that dude that dude's a clown, man. 
He's a clown. He, he a clown. But and and, and, and person man, Mary So Sue is funny. He's, de he, he's definitely he's definitely I could tell he has some good uh, some good um, characteristics about him in person. Now I don't know him personally nothing like that, but in person, you know, you can read a person and interact with a person. You can tell because I even see him that short time I was there. I see him help someone else, like give money to someone because there was some other expat in a, in a, in a bind where I don't know whatever issue where the, the police and the baby mama something like that, and he paid you know money to make sure a dude was good. So. I know he's a good dude, just based off that, you know, short time I was with him.